deliver us. <laughs> everyone oh, I miss this car I really do something about the houses and the walls each side of this in the morning that my neighbors are gonna absolutely love but it just oh, that oh. the old turkey sounds amazing Ooh. Uh, if you're a car guy, you know. So, the storm is currently ongoing. We've had quite a bit of wind overnight. Um, apparently it's supposed to lay off a bit for us today, but will be windy. Uh, and there seems to be some blue sky and the sun is just coming up by the looks of it. It's a Saturday, uh, currently 8.02. Just running a little bit late. bikers out for a little meet um, but yeah Saturday morning we've got a mini to do we've got heated seats on it in the front um, we have Ben's MX-5 the one we did the Pioneer 160 in the other day that's coming back in for speakers because only one of them was working we've got a sub and amp to do for another kitty I think he's bought his own equipment uh, and we've got a golf with an intermittent sound issue to look at. Uh, one we've previously done, it's got interference coming through the alternator and it comes and goes. We've replaced cabling, we've tried looping, like changing the ground loop. We've done everything with this car and, and, and it just keeps coming back. But it's, it's really sporadic. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's perfect. Sometimes it buzzes, sometimes it's a little, sometimes it's a lot. It's a really hard one to try and diagnose, because everything we've tried, it, it stops for a minute and then it comes back. Mobile speed camera zone. Um, but that's our Saturday. Hopefully not as busy as yesterday, it was a bit, a bit full on yesterday figuring out that Mobile Volvo. Speed camera zone. All right woman, shush, 25. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare figuring out that Volvo yesterday and the, the custom fit speakers. Uh, it's difficult because people are very, for want of a better word, they get very shitty with you when they don't get the response that they were hoping for with their sound systems. But when people do their own research and then come in with their own equipment and you just fit it, you kind of get it in the neck for it not being brilliant. And it's like, well, if you come and ask me first, I probably would advise you away from doing it that way to start with. Um, but you know it is what it is unfortunately but it, it does dishearten me when people are I don't know whether they mean to be like that or they just don't think their reaction but we spend all day working on a customer's car doing a good job and then you know you're just like oh well I'm really disappointed in what you've done it's like well no you, you're happy in what we've done we've achieved everything that you wanted us to do which was fit your speakers the result of the sound afterwards is not our issue that's Volvo and your choice in speaker the way you've done your job but hopefully today's a bit more chill it's going to be busy but not as not as crazy <laughs> but i'm going to enjoy some uh whirly boy get off to work i've got to moisturize my head shaving what fun anyway sounds no sounds, red light.
everyone. Morning. Welcome to Saturday. So, first <laughs> two are in this morning. We've already had a third one here and had a quick look at it, but uh, that was the Volkswagen Golf that we've done the sub and amp on. He's got a little bit of a buzz or a whine come back, so we're exploring all of our options with that. Uh, the other ones we've got in are a Mini, a Mini 1? Is it a Mini 1? Cooper. It's a Cooper. Um, we've got the Mini Cooper in for heated seats, so Alex has got the passenger side seat out and is just starting to take it apart to put yeah. the heating elements in, got which is quite cool. Got the apart, and we just pull this up, pull that up, and we'll slide our heating element under here and under here. If you've not seen one before, let me just leave that over there so that doesn't fall off. And I'll grab one. It's a kit that we sell. We have done for a little while and we've had great results with them. They're really, really cool. What it basically is, everything involved. So you get two relay systems for your power. You get little heated seat elements and switches, which give you low heat, high heat or off. Comes with its own relay, comes with its own fuse, everything in ready to go, plug and play. We get two elements on this one. You can get them a single element or a, twi a twin element. We like the single, sorry, we like the twin because it does the bottom and the back. And then this is our heating pad. It basically acts like a toaster. So there will be a certain amount of low resistance in this cabling and what it will do is it will warm up. And then we have that element that we will basically slide in. So if you look at the car seat here, that will sit kind of like there. And then we have one that goes at the back as well. So as that's in, the cables will run out the back in the middle. We then clip on the back of the seat base again. And obviously as you sit on it, this will warm your bottom. And you stop laughing, you child. And then this will warm your back, um, but you'll be controlling it all through your little relay switch and thing there. So I've basically unclipped all of the back of the seat down here the material. I'll open the seats up, we'll pull the material up so I've got access into the seats, we'll put our heating element in and then put it all back together and then do the other side. Hello. And you're working on a Turaco, I think it is. I think it's a Turaco. So I've got a Sear in for a sub and amp. Customers bought his own equipment. Um, it's all Phoenix Gold stuff. So we've got this beastie for a sub box that we also got. Um, <clears throat> we've got the ZR2000, 2001 amplifier to go into it. Uh, power kit and cables there, and then the box there as well. It's a supported slot box, and it's all going to go in here. We've also got <clears throat> a bit different. Not seen one of these before. Well, I haven't, but Alex obviously has. Is a Sort of an adapter harness that goes in between the quad lock of the car and gives me an RCA output and a remote output so I don't have to start cutting into the harness and making my own making my own stuff so yeah so that's this one so I'm gonna get cracking with this I think we've got one other for the day which is the Mazda MX-5 which will be yeah. coming in later on yeah. but uh, other than that we're gonna turn some music on turn it up because there's no one else in the estate well there is but have a dance have a bit of a dance and then we'll uh, do some work so we'll catch up with you in a little bit see you soon right then everyone so give you a bit of an update on where we are so the still at work still at work <laughs> so the seat uh, I'm cracking on with I've got the signal cable and the harness all plugged in so at the top just there we've got the signal cables coming out of the um, adapter harness ignore this dash camera fitment because it's like it's we, the, didn't do it. we didn't do it but it's the best you'll ever get it's got the dreaded name written all over it what do you see wrong with this picture ladies and gentlemen put it in the comments <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> oh do you know what makes it even better there's this little button right here it means that it's one of these ones <laughs> And I like to call them the Cable Cutter 9000, and all he's done is put it right in the path. <laughs> Never mind. It goes under the sill. Yeah, it goes it's under the sill, but it's also in the Cable Cutter 9000 area, so... I'm going to ask him when he comes back, I'm going to be like, Hey bro, who fitted your dust cameras? Because lol. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Give him my card. <laughs> we'll do some training. <laughs> so, I've got oh, the power sorry. cable in. Hello, Alex speaking. I've got the power cable in this, so this one's Hello. coming along nicely. So, I'm going to run the power cable down to the back, get all the rest of it all sorted. Obviously, this is a seven seater, and he's not going to be able to use his rear seats once I put the sub in. So, we're going to get that all uh, built up and ready to go. Get the amp probably screwed to maybe the back of I don't I don't know because that's a bit of a unit don't really want to screw it to the seats because they move they recline they do all the other bits as well so I'm gonna have to work that one out in a little bit um, yeah we'll work that out soon Alex is getting on with the heated seats I'll stay over here because he's on the phone at the moment but yeah he's getting on with the heated seats so he's gotten the heating elements in the, top, in the bottom and the top section of that seat over there um, so proving to be a bit difficult because you've got to strip all of this apart strip the hog rings out the back and the front and then obviously the bottom here and try and get up to the top of that but uh, he's managed to get that one done and we will give you a bit of a shout back a little later on so it's about what time is it now it's about uh, that one's an hour slow so it's about 10 past 11 so we will give you a shout back probably just after lunch when these have gotten a bit more progress see you soon right then everyone back <coughs> back from the rescue mission we just had to go and rescue dan's missus her exhaust just snapped so we are just um back in let me pause this right uh dan is cracking on with the seat getting all the cables through we've got our power stuff in that ready to be fuse mounted up there um, he's just running everything through from the back a few cable ties and stuff going on we've got build a box this one is pretty much back together so I've got the seat base back in side trims on we've got our two connections here for the heated seats um, which is then going to run into a relay and then obviously down to a switch we've just got to power the thing up so now I can get this one back in the car, run the cable down the center console, find a place to put the switches, and then take the other seat out. Start again. Rinse, repeat. Okay. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Dan, just uh, pause the radio for me yeah. while I keep talking a second. La, 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 la. Perfect. Right, so Mini is one-sided done. And as you can see, here is our seat back in. We've got a little controller there. So we get a red light when it's on two bars and we get a yellow light when it's on one bar. And then it runs up through into the dash onto the fuse box stand. That's us the thermal imager. So one of my really expensive snap-on tools, but dead worth it, look, for checking out how hot my uh, work colleague is, whether he's over his operating temperature. <laughs> Hang on, do that again. Yeah, <laughs> but we can actually see there you go look you see the heating pad that I've just fitted in that seat so it shows you that one over there is obviously cold because that's not got a heated seat in it and this one does so that one will keep the lady nice and warm that's no, a good way of driving here all week here all week boom boom <laughs> but there we go so yes a, a purchase that was actually worth it because I can do stuff like this and see if it's actually working right. Happy days. Right, let's uh, turn this one off and start taking apart that seat. Joy. Oh. Right then guys, finished with the uh, seat up. As you can hear, it's all working. So what we've done is interface kit through the head unit. Obviously this is like the VW stuff, so your standard radio is actually in the glove box here. And then what we've done is we've put in base controller in the top here and the cable across the top of the dash. In the back we've got sub amp Phoenix Gold. It's running at 2 ohm sub running down to 1 ohm off of the amp, which we've managed to stick down there in the spare wheel well. So customer's got still use of his boat and base. It just sounds a little bit better instead. Just going to clear the codes off because we've powered it up with the ignition. Um, oh, sorry, we've powered it up with the battery disconnected, uh, and obviously, as we've reconnected it, it's come up with the three amigos. But there we go, this one's done, sounding loud. See you in a bit, right? Then, people, so the seat is gone, Mazda is in, 
but you may remember this Alex did this recently for a hedge unit and only a hedge unit and we got the most views ever on a little funny short but then got demonetized demonetized because I showed a knife and went biscuits biscuits well biscuits well god biscuits so I've already taken the door card off. wasn't that hard. There's only two screws holding it in and uh, some hopes and dreams. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I've taken that off. Customers not had speakers working in this um, and wants us to put some in. Now, somebody in the past has absolutely butchered this and put a Bose component set in it. <clears throat> Yum. <coughs> Yummy. Oh, that's not attached. No. No, none of it's attached, mate. Oh, good. Good. Good? Yes, mint. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. What? Brother! Brother, there's your window problem. Ooh. <laughs> what, what the? Yeah, don't worry about that. It's mint. But do you want to know what's even funnier? Like, to power speakers, you kind of need a connection, don't you? It's overrated. But, what you do need is a wiring harness to the door to start off with because there isn't one so we've got that wireless speaker fit bluetooth mate Blue bluetooth speakers mate bluetooth, bluetooth speakers so um i've absolutely no idea what we're going to do here alex is going to be coming up with a plan so technically that cable is um mm, bellows or rodders oh it's there <laughs> yes it's a it's it's, it's a, a hole. It's a fuzzy end. Mmm, yummy. So in here will be a cable, up under there will be a cable. Oh, there's a cable. <laughs> no, not that cable, a different, a different cable. So there'll be a cable in there, and the little grommet there is taped over, so we'll just have to... We'll cord some cable in a conduit wrapper into the door. You don't have to worry about the regulator because it's not going to come this way. Go straight down to the speaker, connect it in, solder, and... Uh, <laughs> Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Alex dancing. Alex dance. Right, I'm gonna get on with this. We're gonna get on with that. See you soon, bye. Oh my God, people. Right, Alex has managed to get this one pretty much buttoned up and ready to go. If you get the so. thermal imaging camera and then plug it. It's on charge, be careful. Ah, there we go. Is it on? Look at that. Both of them? Both of them are on. Back one's warming up slowly. The seat base is obviously already warmed up. That's it, yeah. So yeah, there you go. So that is the heated seats done. Two little controllers in the middle. Look at how cool this guy looks with his glasses. <laughs> Oh, look at the claret. Oh, look at the claret. <laughs> on, on HD. In HD and thermal imaging. I don't know how to turn it off. Press, oh, there you go. Just press the power button. Uh, yeah, well, so I tried that and it didn't turn off. I didn't know whether you wanted to put it back on charge. Always. No, it leaves in there. All right. Well, that's the Mini done. Yeah. <clears throat> As for the Mazda... Are you getting on? <clears throat> not bad, not finished, bad. Finished it yet? I've put the door speaker in. I've managed to get the wiring through to it. Now. This door not sealing at all. We're not going to put the crossover in the door or on the inside of the door card because there isn't enough space. So the crossover, you can just see a little bit of grey wiring just there. Crossover is just up inside there and I've ran the speaker wiring for, out of the crossover through the factory grommet, which I found rolling around in the bottom of the door. That's Mint. Where That's where they all go. Um, so I managed to put that back in and amazingly the clips weren't broke so I've put that in got that sealed put the speaker in Tweeters connected there. I just need to cut a hole in the original door card, which is Over here waiting for the hot glue to go off because this top piece is supposed to be connected to this bottom piece and it wasn't That's screwed together Mint So I'm gonna finish that up cut the hole put the speaker in put the door on go from there sick Well, get from magic, finger. <laughs> magic finger. Right, we will catch up with you. You've got plenty of them upstairs. No, I mean like tonight. Oh, let's just say, get on the piss now, then, shall we? Oh. <laughs> right, catch up with you soon. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a
attempt to get out of work. <laughs> I was like, yeah, watch this. Dan, Dan sabotaged his own Do you know what it was? Do you know what it was? Yeah. I know I've got to redecorate tomorrow. <laughs> you are not watch this video. Sorry babe, can't drink the water tomorrow. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, right. Damn, this hurts. Yeah, that's fine. Just keep, keep it tight, keep pressure on it. Stop it bleeding. Right, question is, where have you tied in my first aid kit to? <laughs> I did that! <laughs> Sake, where have you put it? So, as a, as a tell you what happened was... So what happened was... <laughs> see this door card on the floor? This stay, door stay there because it covers the red. <laughs> <laughs> this door card, I was drilling a hole um, to put the tweeter in there. Look. And uh, I was supporting it with my left hand, drilling with my right. Because that's a good idea, Daniel. Um, yeah. I was doing it with a hole saw, fairly big one, and it pushed through and I subsequently drew it through my hand. Dirty little bastard. Um, I don't know what you've done with my fuel. I don't know what I've done. I, what I don't remember seeing any first aid. Is it in the toilet? No, it's not. Right. Let me clean you up. Baby wipes, yo. Yeah. It's all right. But, right, put that on that hand. Thank you. God's sakes. Cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Top drawer. All right, let me end up. What are you looking for? You don't like blood. Stop oh, looking at it. I want to see it though. Stop How looking at it. How bad is it? It's fine. Oh, it's bad, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a babby hole. Show the camera. No, it's a babby oh. hole. Show the camera for me. Oh! <laughs> right, open your hand up. I need to just give it a clean. Right, open your hand up if you can. <laughs> you did it in two places. Which one? That one. Alright, hang on. Open this finger up for me. <clears throat> Rip it tight. That's it. Right. Baby wipe sting. Give me your other hand. <clears throat> Baby wipes suck. Yeah. My water wipes. Whatever they are, they fucking sting. <laughs> Smell the iron in your blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can. Sauce, mate. Mm, right. <laughs> Thanks, though. You're getting out of work. No, I am. I'm on fire. <laughs> right, sit still for a minute. I'll find the first aid kit and patch you up. Thank you. <sighs> oh, there's a puddle. It's got drips. Right, sit still. Because you don't like the size of blood. No, oh, I don't mind. No, it's. it's <laughs> Once I get over that initial, like, raw oh, fucking ass bad, I'm all right. <laughs> right, we'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> Dan, can you grab your office chair, please? Just pull it around here a second. Right, we're just going to do a little health and safety drill course. Because I think you need it. Right. Over there, please, student. <laughs> You need to sit here. Right. Now, have you got the claret off of this? Yeah. Right. I am actually. Okay. Wipe it down for the Good. Wet wipe. Right. So, let's just. This, welcome to Alex's drill course. Right. Now, when you're drilling something, Daniel. Turn, turn, the, turn the lens around so we can see what we're. <laughs> when you're drilling something, Daniel. There we go. Right. Education, everyone. Education, education, education. Where's the, where's the drill? Here it is. Right, no, don't go anywhere near me without me. Right. Now, when we are drilling through something, it is not permitted to put your hand in the way of where the drill goes, Daniel. Right? If you are drilling through something, you do not support it and hope that your luck is in and you miss a digit. Right? 
We have clamps, we have vices, we have workbenches. You have me. Next time you are sending one of these, one of these, through your fingers, don't. Otherwise, I'll put your penis in my hydraulic press. Right? And it won't be a sore finger you'll be going home with. Or chips. I don't know what you're about. Well, it'll fit in there. I use the small one. <laughs> right? Fuck's sakes. Anyway, we are done. Uh, everything is just... Everything, everything is gone. Dan's going to really hospital. <laughs> no, we are, we are done for today, everyone. Uh, a very busy day. Volvo has just come back in to discuss future modifications, which is a good thing, because he's going to let me decide what goes in his car and actually makes a difference. Mint. Dan is not playing Call of Duty this evening, because he is a digit down. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try. Like, if you're on tonight, yeah? If you're on in the like, next... High, high four. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on Xbox or PlayStation playing Call of Duty, 1v1 me. Yeah. Right? I'll do you with four digits. You right? won't. You won't. I will. You Come won't. Online, Come on, You ain't going to do anything tonight but sit there teabagging people because yeah, exactly. you can't run with the other finger. <laughs> you can't. I've got the thumb. I've got the thumb and aim in. I'm good. Yeah, but you can't have the controller. I'll just phone Nicola and get it and no. kick the controller I've out of your hand because you can't hold it. I've got four. I'm all right. <laughs> Anyway, we are done. Um, a rather mental day. Mini's been picked up. Heated seats are done. Uh, we just finished the MX-5. Sub and amp on the... Sub and amp on the Turakan. Is it Turakan? Seat. Seat, whatever, it whatever it is. The Seat has been done. He's taking his car away as well. Uh, and that is it. Day off tomorrow. He's happy. He wants to do front speakers and keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all sorts. Where there is... Um, a little bit so-so at the minute. We're missing the rain and it's warm. It's really hot. As you can see, I'm in t-shirt weather. So is Dan. Two t-shirts. And he's still got his beanie on, but he's normally in a coat and stuff. But that's probably because you've lost so much blood. You're like pinking out. <laughs> you should have seen it. Oh my God. Ah, man down. But that's it. Every... Ow. Why is there salad cream Ow. down there? Yeah. It's bad. You've got to lunch. Oh. We had lunch really late. What? Was it recorded? Does it get you? Yes, it does. The other one, yeah. No, it does. It gets me. Yeah, no, I don't need to, mate. I started filming as soon as I'd stopped the bleeding. <laughs> the lies. I'm lies. Gonna, lies. You were like, gonna... hold it tight. I'm going to turn the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I did not do that. <clears throat> I made sure you were safe before I videoed your demise. You went to sit down and then went and got the camera. <laughs> hey, once a YouTuber, always a YouTuber, right? This ain't, this ain't clickbait. No, it ain't. It's digit porn. Oh. Can I say it? I don't know no, if I can say that. No, that last word you can't say. Corn. Corn on the corn cob. Corn? Digit, yeah. digit corn. You're gonna have to bleep out that first time. I'll <laughs> do that then. Right, but that's it. Um, we're done for till, done for today until Monday. We've got Doris the Camper coming in. Oh yeah, Doris the Camper, um, it's having dynamite, isn't it? That's it. Yep, she's getting Dynaliner and Dynamat. So we're doing three layers. Mm. That's going to be a beast of a job. And we've got Charlotte coming in in her L200 for camera. We've got a dash camera, but the rear camera is not being used for parking. The rear camera is being used for her kids. She wants it viewing down from the roof into the rear so she can see what the kids are doing on the dash camera. It's quite a clever idea, actually. Give her that. But that's Monday. Okay. But for now, we're going to get a couple of days off. Dan's going to, Dan's going to eat lots of cabbage and top up his um, one day. One, One day. You said West. Yeah. A day. You get a day. Pedantic. See you in the morning. Bye.